Hi everyone, and welcome back to the Bardor base. Um, yes, as we are, we are closing in on the end. I feel, uh, it feel very much feels like that is what what's going on. Um, hmm. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we can just loop this one back that way. Uh, let's finish setting this up. Pull that one out there. One, two. Do, 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 do. I think what we'll do as well is uh, pull that that way, bridge that way, and we'll just pull two over here. I guess we'll just join them. Uh, like that, and then this one will come from over here. There we go. Hopefully that's all good. Did we get? Okay, and then um, oof. This is going to be mildly annoying. Uh, I don't have enough space if I do that, do I? I might do actually. So we're gonna have to ceramic pipe our way over over here. Is the plant bigger than normal? Um, this is a classic sized map. So if you're in a base game, your one, your one and only plantoid is this big. If you pick a classic sized map in Space Out DLC, you get this big map, but it's not bigger than normal, I don't think, unless the Bartle might have changed it slightly, but it's relatively similar to um, to a normal classic sized map, unless uh, if not exactly the same. Uh, but if you're playing, yeah, if you're playing Spaced Out sized map or the Moonlit ones, then uh, yeah, it's definitely bigger than that, but depends on what you mean by normal, of course. So, yeah, there we go, okay. I guess we can send, yeah, okay, last bit of artifacting from space, so we'll send those for those two. Um, send those out. And how much oxygen? 512, right, that, that's fine. That is fine. So we can now launch this one as well. So mop up this mess, and how that got in there. Okay, all uh, rockets are a go. Obsidian. Off Ben and uh, that guy head off. Three rockets, and then hopefully this one will also now start refilling with oxygen. But this one's actually pretty good for oxygen. Hmm, okay. This one's almost ready to go as well. I think some oxygen will start coming in here, maybe. Yep. Uh, so what I can do is copy the land one food uh, settings, and that's the wrong button. Land lander two. Then we can get that going as well. Although I don't know how many. Um, I'm not sure we've got any pilots left. Uh, so that's not good. We're gonna need we're gonna need a digger, right? And we're gonna need a pilot. Oh, actually, I can. Hmm. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you, Kevin would be great for this, right? Kevin's a great pilot. So, um, let's wait for Kevin to come back and send him. That'd be the plan. Okay, grab that. All right, and then I think we're on a little bit of a wait, uh, waiting plan right now. Uh, set that to toggle. Oh, cool. We've got to wait for these guys to build this, and we've got to wait for our uh, base fairers to come back. Also, this will solve our cold damage issue. It seems to be uh, freezing a bit in the pipes. Yeah, uh, we're going to use. Um... Ah, I've got an idea. Um... Rather than join these here. Come through here, and uh, use one pipe for that, one pipe for that. That looks good. 
Okay. Okay, power's all fine. But yeah, we can't do this till we get super quick anyway. Um, but yeah, we're going to use the, the natural coldness of this biome to try and uh, uh, cool down some oxygen. Turn it back into liquid. So we did have a nice pool here earlier on, but um, we could have used that actually for rockets. But instead, oh, I used it for my base because we were having a bit of an oxygen crisis at the start. So it's definitely uh, the right decision, I think, at the time. But it would have been kind of nice right now. So yeah, we're just going to head out to a couple of satellites. And that point of interest and the water planetoid. So, uh, yeah, we've got about maybe one or two cycles of kind of downtime of uh, chilling, and then we'll uh, we'll pick back up when everything kind of goes crazy. So, yeah, not much for me to uh, me to particularly chat about right now. So, uh, anyway, everyone having a good weekend? Anyway, or if you guys are on YouTube, let me know if you're having a good good week. What are you up to? Uh, and thank you, Hello Cows, for the follow. I mean, this, this is what we do when, uh, ooh, some liquid oxygen there. When, um, when we're just kind of waiting for them to build stuff, we just chat about random stuff. So, uh, if you have anything random to throw in, uh, you can, you're more welcome to do that. Like the time we talked about, um, CZ Mate's favourite sausage, that was, uh, was a stream highlight, that one. Um, he seems to love sausages. Just, uh, just what he does. But uh, yeah, lots of lots of building to do. So I don't wish we could make it go quicker. Use the uh, debug ten times speed. Probably would work. Da -da. But we've got a. These guys are going to take probably three cycles to come back, and these things are going to take a while to build. So, um, but yeah, we'll have the we'll have the water plant wait soon as well. Uh, just make sure Lander 1's okay. Yeah. Nothing uh, weird going on here. Hopefully. Uh, this was... Yeah, was reset because we had to... Uh, to suit them back because we've kind of run out of oxygen. Spending so long on the... On the frozen planetoid. I'm going to cut that for now just in case. Da -da -da. Uh, this is all... this is all reachable, yeah. Okay, nice. Ah. Um, yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Don't need an overflow hydrogen. We, we're going to be using all the hydrogen, I'm sure, so... Don't worry about that. Okay, let's make sure as well... yep. Yeah, we have a bridge output here so that we don't confuse the flow direction. Mm. I could try and speed this up if we wanted to, but I mean, I, there's not much point. Like, I could priority 9 it and get them all to come and build it, but we also don't have the super coolant, so it's not going to make any difference. Gravitas door overheated? Okay, we'll deconstruct that. I hate getting random uh, notifications. Let's get rid of it. Get rid of it. We've got some steel back as well. We somehow ran out of steel, so that's good. Mm. So yeah, a bit of a waiting game. So we cross the 400 cycle mark. Are we going to make it to cycle 500? Hmm. Don't know. It might be close actually. I think we might we might sneak in under 500 at this rate because the temporal terror opener is ready to go. Um. So we just need to we need to start charging it. That's going to be what slows us down there. And then the artifacts pretty pretty damn close I think. So and actually, by the way. We go to the water planetoid, um, and the regular planetoid. We might not even need to go to the superconductor planetoid, so that may be unnecessary. If we can get enough artifacts from those ones, then uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Also, have we checked out the inner one? So yeah, okay. So we robbed that one. Uh, yeah, we robbed this one. Did we get all of them? Toxas. We haven't even gone through Toxazon, so there might be there might be an artifact there. I mean, that's probably worth investigating. We'll go to the water plant toy first, because we want the fullerene anyway. Or the graphene for the fullerene. So we'll grab that first. Then, um, yeah, we'll head to Toxazon, and then we'll head to the regolith one. So, yeah, so we may avoid coming out here altogether. It may just be... Uh, this may have all been a waste of time in some sense, but I mean, you know, not really in a waste of time, because they're going to do it anyway, so... 
Um, yeah, they kind of don't have anything more important to do. But we're all good. Just uh, yeah, our water is uh, looking good. Oop. Just to cut that. No, no warnings. Everything looking nice and chill. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna say. I've got a. Uh, we've got much more. Chat's uh, chat's very quiet tonight. So there you go. We're uh, everyone's busy. Everyone's lurking along, playing their own games or doing something else. Uh, still appreciate you guys being in, of course. Nothing wrong with that. But quiet chats tonight. Okay. Okay. Ah, there he is. That's Kevin. Couldn't find him. Couldn't find him on the map. Okay, 60 seconds for triad. Uh, Kevin, 180 seconds coming down. Yeah, and then things are going to get busy again when we land on the water plant, of course. It's always a, yeah, it's tricky managing multiple plant toys, but um, as a spoiler, for a mini spoiler for the next series, definitely going to do something with multiple plant toys. Definitely much more than I've done before. So, um, yes, stay uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah, it's gonna, that one's really going to push me because I'm usually all over the place and trying to manage multiple plans ways is tricky. Usually because I'm so busy trying to get stuff done. I like keeping the game running so I can try and speed things up, but I think with multiple plans ways going, you just you have to pause a lot more. just don't think you can get around it, so we'll see. We'll have to see, but I'm, I'm looking forward to the next run already. Uh, not that we're not enjoying this run, but I think we've kind of, from a from a Bartor perspective, we've pretty much tamed tamed the planetoid. Um, we could definitely play around with this a bit more. Um, you know, there's a lot of magma down here, diamond, but there's nothing there's nothing we need to do. And there's, I think I'm kind of at the point where the all the like gimmicks and stuff have kind of they're not gonna they're not gonna significantly change the game now. We're kind of back onto normal programming. Uh, there was that where was that Naptha? There's this liquid naphtha pocket that I'm kind of half tempted to just super spill open because it would kind of be hilarious. Although it will go down and then turn into sour gas. Um, which isn't really an issue. I mean, like I say, this base is so resilient to, to bad gases, it's really not going to cause any issues. So even though we have got weird gases outside, any that get in just come to the bottom and get booted out. So like, I really don't care. I, I don't think that there's much that could upset this base right now. I mean, I don't have any cooling in, so it's, I suppose, a little bit uh, weak to that, uh, vulnerable to that. But uh, I feel like Triad's not actually coming. Yeah, I don't like that it's not giving me a number. So let's uh, do it, get a number. So yeah, I mean, if I could probably put a cooling loop in here as well. Um, but yeah, as, as it looks, I don't think there's... This base is going to run for very much longer, so um, not too fussed about sustainability right now. Just kind of let's do everything we need to get it done and uh, call it a day. Thank you. Yeah, it's having been fun. The, the, the start was really fun. Um, as much as we, we almost died, I actually really enjoyed almost dying, as weird as it sounds, because uh, it definitely made it really interesting. Uh, more, more interesting start than I've had on any other. The other run for quite a while, because uh, you know once you know what you're doing, it's kind of it's cool. Uh, we've got a lot of liquid oxygen over here already. It's it's so cold to end up being easy to loop. Yeah, it's cool. It's fine. Base is base is safe. Okay, uh, right. We should have a load of oxygen in here. Yeah. Okay. So let's take again. Let's take the food. Oh, why don't I do that again? Press the wrong button. Copy that onto Lander Two this time for good, and. Let's roll to. Oh, wait, we still. Damn it, I forgot we're still waiting for Kevin, aren't we? We'll roll to uh, this plant right over here. Top's done. Okay, Kevin's two cycles back. So, for crew, we will put. Where's Kevin? I know he's not here. Can I still pick him? I can still pick him. And then, um, Ghost Rider, I suppose. Why not? We'll take Ghost Rider. You guys can go. Should I send them to the frozen planetoid? I don't know. Maybe 
maybe that's more important. It's probably more important to send them to the frozen plantoid, actually. Let's, let's do that. Okay, yeah, we just need Kevin to get back, though, because he's still out. Right, okay, and we have Landers in orbit. So, uh, let's go to the water plantoid. In terms of high... Oof, yeah, you, do, you don't want to land here because this is not very high. Although, actually, we could probably get away with it. Okay. Yeah, we can get away with it, but if we had a petroleum rocket, this would not be good. So, actually, uh, more than a little bit fortunate there that we don't have a petroleum rocket. We'll do that. So, you always do one at a time. One at a time. Whoa. Just to make sure we're safe, we'll deconstruct that. And down we go. Go as well. Yeah, we uh, we may as well also start making our way down because that is, is going to be necessary. Can, uh... Okay, um, we should be able to land here. I think we're safe. Uh, okay, get those ones done first. We see the rocket platform, and then otherwise keep going down. We can already just immediately head down like this, and we'll just use every other ladder just to make it uh, easier. And that means we have to build half the amount of ladders. Okay, I'll land here. Hopefully they can go... Can you stop disinfecting the flipping rocket platform? I think we're good. Not going to be an exhaust gas. Okay, whoops, save as well at the same time as I pause, which is a bit sketchy. Okay, no, uh, we're not. We are grounded in here, so we just unground. Why have we got so little food? Not good. Let's go down with some more food. Okay, down we go. And that bad guy, welcome in. Hello, I did see you were streaming. How are you doing? How was your Oni? I know you were playing Oni. Let me uh, try and give you a shout out. Why have we got a? Uh, why oh, have we got a meter share as soon as we landed here? I think we'll be alright. The the platform's safe. Uh, raid, 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 and welcome in, Raiders. I am GC Fungus, if you don't know me. Uh, I have, have a lot of YouTube videos about Oni, so you may have caught me over there. I also, of course, stream on Twitch, so good to see you guys in. We're having a good weekend. And come some more Oni gameplay. Um, we are just now working on the water planetoid uh, as we have tackled the Bartor uh, map, which is the Nine Hells. Uh, we've kind of beaten our way through it now. We've got lots of weird uh, materials and temperatures and all kinds of stuff. Helium and synthesis gas and uh, loads of liquid nuclear waste everywhere. So crazy stuff on this map. But we've kind of come through that. Are we getting... Oh my god. you got one bit of dirt on here and then the whole space cannon stop working. Great. Ugh. Damn space scanner. Sadat, get it out. Sadat, I needed to I needed to dig this now. Thank you. Thank you. Enable meteor blasters. Ugh. What's that a meteor? Was that just a shuffle? I don't know. Probably a meteor shovel can't get here. One thing happens and then it oh right, so we've got a power issue. We're using up too much power. Oof. Yeah, I, I never really properly secured the power grid. We're I did we run out of natural gas? I hope not. Ooh. Great. Our natural gas guys are went dormant, so that's kind of pulling the power. Cop coal is oh my god. Why do we keep just getting meters right on the scanner? Like, if they could, they could land anywhere, and they're just landing right on the scanner and disabling it. It's insane. This, game, this game's trolling me. They could land anywhere. Uh, but they don't. Okay, alright, I think we've, we've made it through. Uh, right. 
Yeah, and then what we want to do down here... Uh, is, is keep going. Ugh. Catastrophic power death. Yeah. It's just a bit of a cascading failure, that one. Yeah, this is a bit annoying because I have to grab the uh, sandstone from up here, but when we get down there, they can... Uh, well, as soon as they can get onto here, they can grab the sandstone from further down. We'll just priority nine that. Bit annoying as well, they can only do it one at a time. Okay, right, anyway, survived that. Still waiting for Kevin to get back. And then uh, off we go to the frozen plantoid and get the temporal tear opener going. New prints. I really don't care. Don't want more dupes. We've stolen all of our food for our um, astronauts anyway, or pilots. Oh, they don't need to do that because it'll just be here. Oh no, they do need to do that. There we go. So the uh, graphite's always at the bottom, so we definitely need to go all the way down. That's where you'll find the uh, the good stuff. And I, I dug some sandstone here because um, this sandstone was obviously use, useful. But uh, once we dig this out, it will just fall down. And then they'll want something close by that they can build out of. So. Oh, jeez. This plantoid is quite a tall one. Uh, very annoyingly. Uh, we may, I may swap to a different rock if. Uh, there's not enough sandstone up here because it's a bit silly. These are a hundred each. We should have ten. We should be able to get down. What's uh, that guy? That guy's just, just chilling asleep. Okay. Okay, we've got excellent fruit in here as well, so that's ah, fine. It's fine. Okay, I think triads coming in. Okay, let's make sure they're not doing anything weird with return journeys. Uh, so triad, triad, triad. Artifact, remove that. Let's get that scanned. The artifact analysis. And then the other one that Kevin will bring in will be at the end of that. Perfect. Just grabbing the sandstone from there. You always want to use local materials, of course. So we can swap this into sedimentary down here, for example. And then when we come over here, we can dig up a load of rock and use that to build our way down. Polluted water vent, yeah, a load of water sources on this map, of course. Water plant so does also have water. Um, okay, except I've done an off by one uh, job there, which is super annoying. There we go. Okay. We're just working our way down. Almost there. The bottom bottom is around here. We can almost see it, so don't worry. Okay, Kevin's coming in. Uh what I'm gonna do is take that off and uh how do I uncompost? Cancel compost. Uh, we're going to save this food. We'll just do that. Put it in the infinite food storage. This has got a bit buried. Okay. Nothing else major's got buried, has it? No. And then um, Kevin will do the same. We'll take the food. Put it in the food storage. Ooh. Okay, where are we going? Reachable. Is this going to become reachable or... I have to do this again. Okay, it will. Put it in there. And then just check Kevin's stress. Uh, are we good, Kevin? Are we good? Where is Kevin? Kevin... Can't see him on the list. 
vitals, Kevin. Stress seven percent. That's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Okay, send it. Let's send it there, and then now on the water planet void. Okay, priority. Take this up, please. Here goes Ben. Elementary. Oh god, we still haven't found the bottom. This is it's extremely deep. Oh great. There we go. Yeah, such a tall, tall planetoid. Crazy. Okay, right, Lander 2's on its way. Let's double check. This is the first time we used Lander Lander 2, so. Uh, I'll make sure everything's okay. Ghost Rider and Kevin are on the job. Okay. Yep, suit's good, oxygen's good, everything looking hunky dory. Hopefully, Kevin's uh, speed will help us out with his piloting skill, which does make them go faster. Better be enough sedimentary rock here. Yeah, we've got loads of it. We'll build as priority four. Priority four will uh, fill in the gaps. Oh, great. And, and basically, if uh, uh, one of them. Ben is busy uh, building the main ladder. That guy can build the fill in the gaps, and then that way they can actually get up and down a bit quicker. Um, it's definitely the quickest way to go in terms of building one every other because it saves them building. But it is slower for them to walk up and down than a continuous ladder. So uh, start with a every other ladder and then fill in the gaps. That's what we're doing. Do dig 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 build build build. Oh, great. Now they're storing materials. Okay. I guess they, there's some... Some what? Some sedimentary rock storage? Is this sedimentary rock? Okay. I guess they... Really felt like they needed to, to store that, I guess. It was priority 9, so can't blame them. Ah, and then if we go back home... Uh, Kevin's... Last mug. Grab that. There we go. Okay, Ben's on it. At least Ben's focused on the focused on the goal. Trying to get the right right place. Uh, okay, we see the bottom. That's good. Uh, and then there should be. There's one artifact in there, a stethoscope. I'm really hoping there's two. If there's two, we might be able to get away with this. Mm. With, with not going to the other planetoid. Ah, there's a uh, an X-ray as well. Perfect. Right, there are two on this planetoid. That is amazing. Um, okay. And then we also need some graphite, which is this stuff down here. Uh, we don't need a lot of it to make um, a lot of super coolant. So uh, down we go. How much do we actually need? I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure. Okay. Yeah, it looks like that guy is just filling in the ladder, so that's fine. Perfect, okay. Well that means if we can get one more um one more artifact from maybe the inner planetoid, then we don't need to go to the superconductive one. Uh, all the way out here. And that means we don't need the whole liquid oxygen and hydrogen that I've spent a little while setting up, but Oh well, we should definitely turn it on. I definitely wanna see the I wanna see the atmosphere just condensing the um the oxygen in here. That would be that would be funny. So See what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. I'm going to get this done because this is actually starting to get to the point where this might slow us down. Um, 
I wasn't expecting you to, but... It's taken a while. Building entombment. Rocket platform. Yep. Fine. So, Curial. Okay, Ben's coming back up. We do have a continuous ladder. You see, it is, yeah, it is definitely quicker on a continuous ladder, you see. So, good to get that built. And, uh, yeah, we're heading back to the frozen planetoid, where we will uh, plant some wheeze warts. I don't think I can do this with, uh, without tubes here. Plant some wheeze warts, use the phosphorite, and uh, angle that one, and then angle that one. And uh, temple tower we go. Uh, no uh, line of sight is obstructed. Okay. Fortunately, we are losing gas, but uh, I guess. Uh, okay, we can do some glass here. Nine kilos of graphite for every ton of supercoolant. Thank you, Zara, for the numbers. Um, I knew. Yeah. I mean, a ton of supercoolant is a lot. That's ten pipe segments. And nine kilos is you can get. You know, 90 kilos out of what, each one of these tiles. So each one of these is like 100 pipe segments. So we really don't need that much, do we? A bit crazy, that. Okay. Uh, stethoscope. We'll bring that on board. And the uh, old x-ray. We will also bring that on board. Get that. And then... Uh, what I'll also, also do is I'll turn this one to graphite when I can actually do it. I'm dug in here. Go on, Ben. There's also a lot of lime here. I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt to grab some lime, but we've got enough steel, so. Okay. Swap that one over. Grab the stuffs and let's bail. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's mission success already, so. Need to just need to get going. No. Come on, that guy. Unreachable move. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah. Wait, unreachable. That guy is on the case. What if you're doing some storing. So on. Uh oh. Uh, what rock have we got down here? Lime fossil. Yeah, the um, it looks like some water damage has broken our uh, ladder system. Guys, on it. Okay, grab that graphite and go up. Perfect. Alright, so... Uh, Rodriguez... Let's... What do you mean invalid build location? How did that even happen? Don't know. Weird. Uh, so it should be above 450. Ooh. Above 750 on that. There's also a missing drywall there. For some reason, I don't know what's going on. Ah, and I see what I've also done. Is uh, there we what? There we what? Yep, um, connected out on the wrong side, which is helpful. So let's uh, get on the right side. How are we doing? On flipping dick command over here that's stopping everything. And then uh, then we're on, on the way back. Yeah, it's already set. 
Stink Ben to go dig. Um, if that guy... There is another way to do this without digging. Uh, right. We could ask him to build instead. That's a non... Non-building method... Uh, non-digging method of doing it. We get around it. Okay. And hopefully we can get this sorted before the... Uh, before the free uh, frozen planetoid rocket gets there, because then I can focus on one thing at a time, and we, we like that. Everything's nice and easy for me. Rather than managing more. Okay, he's going to store, of course. The most, not the most important. I don't like this is on priority four. That's on five. Do -do -do. Okay. Anyway, sweep left. A little bit sweep, one more door, and then we can we can start this up if we want to. Ah, then the other thing I do want to do is gas vent in here, um, because I don't want oxygen getting into the hydrogen room. That's gonna suck. Right. So we'll just close that off. And then I think what I'm gonna do is start to start priority nining stuff because it's not getting built and I want it to get built like now so so yeah hurry up okay grab one artifact second one second one to come there's one artifact you guys just grab the artifact please um right then in preparation for that we can put a molecular forge down because we don't have one of those. I'm pretty, or we don't uh, know. We have the uh, yeah. We we'll have the uh, virtual planetarium before. Well, do, I don't have room in the brick, do I? Ironically, um, I tell you what, I made this brick really tiny. I'm not entirely sure why, but we'll put a uh, molecular forge there as well. Yeah, done. Okay, all right, at least we know stuff's getting done. Okay, and that stethoscope is gone and has appeared in here, so we are uh, we are officially good to go. Graphite on board and artifacts on board. Homeward bound. Right, now bring us up to nine. So just one more left. Okay, and the frozen, frozen planetoid is happening. Okay. Good. Stuff's now getting built, which is nice. Finally. Been sitting here for far too long. Yep. Okay. All good, all good. Mm -hmm. Still saving every cycle. So on the most tubes run I ended up doing every every other cycle. Because uh, the saves got really long, but then that was like another uh, more than a thousand cycles later than this, so. I'm not sure why the FPS has tanked so much, although it did get really bad on that, obviously. It got way worse than this. Uh, that was pre the performance patch, which actually helped a lot, but that base was running like 12 FPS on single speed before, so I mean, we're currently sitting about 15 to 17 on triple speed, which is not great. I don't know why it's so laggy. And I don't have that many tubes. So, hmm, not sure what's up with the performance right now. It's not great. Uh, okay, right, we're back on Prezio. So, we've just landed. Uh, plan needs to be this. Uh, do we have more glass? Or do we use all the glass? No way we use all the glass, really? Really? You should have glass on board, right? Oh, it's just grounded. Okay. A uh, wolf rat. Welcome back. Pretty cheap, free actually. In ah, so we got some more bots. You're, you're indeed free. Thank you very much for being free and not a bot. Uh, welcome in, Wolfrat. Thank you for your continued support. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll unground that. That's going to help. And that allows us to hopefully build some window tiles. Of oh, here. We, <laughs> we might well melt the window tiles. Uh, beep boop. I am a robot, indeed. Okay, 
So yeah, we gotta get we gotta get these dogs to get the temporal tower opener open. Uh, so we'll prioritize that, and then we'll put some water seeds over here, and we should be good. Should be good. Plan. Uh, okay, doing a lot of delivering. Um, except this is overheating anyway, so great. Waste of time. Yep. Okay, and we're coming back from the water planetoid, and that's good. So yeah, all focus now here on the protoplanetoid and the temporal tear opener. There is Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, I need you. Need you out here. Um, oh, we can move the battery down again, can't we? That's the one. There we go. Instant charge. Love it. Uh, we should also definitely put some batteries on this side too. Oh, we already have one. Okay, I'm gonna um, expand the battery situation. Okay. Good, good. Ghost Rider is on the dig. Okay, I don't. Uh, yeah, this is the lower priority now. Okay, come on, guys. Why is no one doing this one? Come on, Kevin. Just start a new run of this. Uh, what are, what are you doing currently, Wolfrat? Are you in the middle of a run or? Yeah. Okay, generations. Why is this not being built? I'm not sure. This doesn't seem to be happening. I'm not, I'm not quite clear what's up with that. Okay, a couple more. More. Get the radiation ticking high. Okay, some more seeds. Good day. Ghost Rider's having some downtime. Okay, Lander One's coming back. How are we looking over here? I think this is done. Except for this. You're playing June. No, you're crazy, only. Ah. Well, you can come back anytime. Yeah, anytime you want. Mooney's always here. I'm just gonna nine these one at a time to get them done. Hopefully I can inspire you to do something interesting. Some fun runs. Okay, come on. High priority, let's go, let's go. And then we'll put the uh, window tiles in. And then the temporal tear opener should open open up, right? Let's have line of sight now. Oh crap. I forgot about the too few printing pods, damn it. So I don't do this very often. Okay, we need to put printing pods on all of these planetoids. Ugh. Great. Okay. Ah, oh, this is a bit of a waste of time. Whoops. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna quickly divert and then we've really we've gotta chuck some printing pods up quickly, so Let's see, let's see. Um, we can also teleporter, right? Teleporter. Uh, anyone, don't care who. Where's the teleporter? It's down here. Um, Joe, let's go. So we'll do, we'll put one on the frozen planetoid, put one on the marsh planetoid on the way back. We'll stick one on the second planetoid with a teleporter. And then we just got one more to go. I completely forgot about that requirement. That is in, that is my bad. Uh, whoopsie. That's all we can say about that one. Uh, Why well, you need printing pods? It's a requirement for the temporal tear opener. You need to have five different printing pods on five different planetoids. So we're just gonna put this somewhere we can build it. Go, go, go. Joe, you got it. <laughs> I've done any all achievement runs, Wolfrat. You can tell. Done the at least not in space out. 
Okay, uh, then they have to activate it as well. Yep, okay, almost forgot about that requirement, which would have been bad. Okay, and then we can send Joe back. That's two. Okay, back Joe goes. Uh, that's two. Mm, done. Did we make it past mid game? Oh, Wolfrap. Go on, I believe in you. I believe in you. Ah, oh. it's so good. The late game's taking the best bit. What? What? Do we, what's the issue here? What's the issue? They can't get out. Why can't they get out? Wings gone away to the axis here. Great. Thank you for disappearing. Okay. Why have you all gone idle? Is this, this, oh, there's something weird going on with them not doing building errands that require digging errands. Mm, just made me game in last bit. But well, I have faith in you guys, come on. Um, this is what we're here for. Here to help, right? We can do anything. We've got all my tutorial bites. If, if, you, if you're on the Discord as well, I'll, you know, we'll help you out there as well. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the thing, that's the thing. I agree with you. I agree with you, and um, that's why I, I set goals, right? Like, all achievement is a great goal. Or build a petroleum boiler, or build a sour gas boiler. It's a goal. Or build a luxury base, you know. you got to have, uh, you have goals like that. Right, that brings us to three, right? Uh, let's see. Two few printing pods. Three, okay. Uh, we'll land on here for four. I'm actually wondering if... Problem is if we go two to there and two back, we won't have enough to get home, so we are gonna have to wait for this one. Yeah, get a exactly, get a world record, you know, whatever. Random things. Uh okay, so we're gonna we'll land in here quickly. I do wonder if I wonder if we could send someone to this planetoid. And just build it. I think we could. Um, triad. Triad, you are going on another mission. Uh, to here. Go, Triad. We, we believe in you. I'll just double check as well. We've got 10. Uh, you have 10? Oh. Why don't we have 10 space artifacts? That's weird. We definitely did 10, right? And don't tell me because they're all coming out as office mugs or nonsense, because I, I don't have control over that. Hmm. I'm slightly worried about how this is counting, guys, because this was on... This was on... Uh, more than that. Hmm. Yeah, but then how do you get something that isn't a mug, Zari? Because you just go to a space... I thought we were done on that. Why are you waiting to land? Can you just land? Oh, for God's sake, it's entombed. You're having a laugh. Ah. Oh. We have a trailblazer? Why do we have trailblazers to deploy? Wait, what's going on with this? So, yeah, so the, the, the terrestrial ones come from the planetoids. So, for example, you land on it and you go grab the... You have to grab them from the planetoid and then take them back. The, the space ones come from uh, these points of interest. I've collected so many of these. This is nuts. Why, why is this not triggering? Ugh, I hate it when the game doesn't count properly. I had a lot of problems with um, Cosmic Archaeologist. In fact, I had so many problems with that achievement because I did it three two or three times before I even got to the achievement. Because um, I had so many problems with it. Uh, that I made a specific run just to... Um, just to get it. So there was a, there was a whole uh, VOD series on YouTube called Cosmic Archaeologist. It was I did it on the skewed map. So I called it the skewed Cosmic Archaeologist because I'm very original like that. Um, but yeah, just for that. 
because it's so buggy. It was so buggy. Yeah, but okay. This is this is not good though. Not good. Um. Okay. Well, I guess whilst our rockets are flying around, we're back to uh, back to this. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need. We're gonna need a load of ceramic. Let's work that down. Because, uh, hmm. Although, yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced we actually need to do this at all, do we? Although maybe we do. Ugh, who knows. Okay. Yeah, I think in the meantime our frozen planetoids... We're just going to keep them waiting here, or do we bring them back? I mean, they're literally doing nothing. Except for maybe, um... I'm going to bring them back, because... We just feel safer. We'll just do that. I don't know why they couldn't build this. Very weird. I have to dig first and then build. Yeah, it might be. I've had quite a few bugs, like I say, with this before. I don't know. I mean, we can try, but if it just keeps giving me mugs, that's all I can get from space, and it doesn't count, then what do you want me to do? You know? Oh, this is entombed as well, isn't it? Great. This is a waste of time. Is this entombed as well? No, we haven't even landed here. Okay, alright, sorry, this was a complete waste of time. Because I can't land, because they are entombed, and you can't land on an entombed one, so... There you go. Some of the space... have mugs as their first out. Hmm. Okay. Also for Kevin's rocket, Kevin isn't here. Hmm, okay, this is going to take longer than I thought. Mainly because the game's maybe being buggy, or maybe... Something else, I don't know. Let's turn that on. But then, yeah, we're going to have to... Hmm. We need four pipes out of here and four in, so... DDD. Great. That doesn't even go around that. Da -da. Yeah, we are so out of ceramic and we've got there. Oh, we apparently need to get up here. So, yes, yeah, it's going to take a lot of ceramic if, uh, if we want to get out of here. We'll see. But, yeah, anyway. Hydrogen is probably not, is not on my top. Uh, issues right now. This is uh, very annoying. Okay, guys coming back, coming back. Slowly, 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 they're coming back. More prints. Yeah, no. We take some food, why not? Food away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will have to go for some more space POIs, I guess. See what we can do. Oh, Triad also had no food, right? Yeah. He shouldn't have had any food, but he did have food, so... No idea how that snuck on there. Yeah, we'll have to go... Let's go out to some more... Hmm. It's weird. Is it random? Sorry, is... Do you, do you know if it's random? Do I have to go to different ones? Because I've been to loads of different ones. I've been to this one, I've been to this one, this one, this one... I don't know. Precise enough temperature control and pumping. That's true, I mean I could I could also put a valve on it if I wanted. It does slow the loading quite a lot, but... Eh, we'll just make... we'll make the ceramic, it's fine. Um, no biggie. Okay, yeah, let's uh, sort this one out. I'll have to do some more landers. I guess maybe changing the order of the rockets around with the batteries and the um, uh, travel laser modules might have made them a bit inaccessible. So we'll see, because we can we can send the landers out to the ones with no, well, with with no um, 
no platform, or with buried platforms, we can just send a trailblazer down and scoop you back up. Is it a lot of asteroids? Yeah. I mean, I've visited almost all of them, right? So the ones I haven't visited are the regolith, the uh, this other toxazon one inside, and the superconductor. So those three I haven't visited, but everywhere else I have. Um, the... Yeah. The lander one. Lander one should be coming back with two more as well. So I'm not too worried about the terrestrial ones. It's actually the space ones I'm slightly concerned about. Hmm. Unless you mean asteroids by points of interest, but yeah, I do. yeah, 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 okay, yeah, I'm with you. Um, yeah, okay, well, I mean, we're just going to go for a throw stuff at the wall and see what happens, basically, so. Uh, so that one's been collected, that one's available, that one's 10 cycles, that one's available, so. I mean, why not, let's go for this one, I suppose. Uh, the holiday. Welcome in as a, with the raid as well. Appreciate you being in. Thanks for sticking with the raid and uh, anyone else that's stuck around. Uh, raid, it was a very quiet raid, to be honest. There's no point in revisiting a POI. Ah. Okay. I'm not sure if I did this one or not because it's quite far out, but we'll try it. Um, but yeah, we can go further out, which is a bit of a pain. I don't know. We'll try. Yeah, so I think, um... Uh, okay. Maybe they just didn't get, uh... They just didn't get rebuilt. I don't know what's up with that. But, uh, they should be... Grabbing the artifacts. What were we on? We were on 7 and 6, even though I swear we should have been on 10 and... We're on six, yeah, six terrestrial, seven odd, and seven space. Let's see. Should be coming back here. So we'll keep an eye on that. Right, there goes Tim, dropping it off. Um, but we've pretty much reached the end of the stream and the end of the episode, so... Uh, thank you for being with me. I should do a quick summary for this episode and for the last couple of episodes. Of course, three episodes make a stream, normally, all being well, in terms of summarising what I've done. Now, uh, the main thing has obviously been space-based. We have done a little bit on this planetoid, so on our, on our home base, we've just captured this cool salt slash geyser, just topping up of our water to make sure we're all good. Um, ceramic production is hopefully going because we are uh, building liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen setup for possibly visiting the superconductive planetoid, which we may need to do, as we are working our way through Cosmic Archaeologist and seeing seeing how we go. Uh, this is unreachable, so uh, put that off. Um, so yeah, got most of that built. Uh, interplanetary launchers, there anything else? I mean, that's been most of it over here. Uh, in space, we found the Temporal Tower, which is good, and also more or less conquered the Temporal Tower opener, the only thing being the annoying printing pod on different planetoids requirement, which I completely forgot about. Uh, why is this? Oh, this is Kevin. Uh, sake. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, we'll, okay, we'll send Kevin, let's uh, try Triad. Oh, we haven't been out here, have we? No. We'll send him all the way out here. Glimmering, glimmering Astro, oh, that one, whatever that one is, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll send him out there. So yeah, we found Temporal Tear. Uh, on the Frozen Planetoid, let's say we did quite a bit of work. So, um, currently we have radiation ready to go, though we don't have the Temporal Tear flipping thing ready. So we just need to visit a couple more planetoids to get that going, and then we can uh, get this working. Got sort of some infrastructure here, and got down for some more artifacts. So that's looking good. Uh, we visited the Water Planetoid, and uh, also got to the bottom, got some artifacts, and some graphite as well. Actually, has that come... Hasn't come back yet, or has it? Or has it? Lander one's back. Lander one's back. So that means on the molecular forge, I can make some fullerene. Uh, although I will need some aluminium, which is not a problem. We'll stick. Uh, we'll stick a couple of aluminium on there. Get some fullerene, and then make some super coolant uh, with petroleum. I'll have to. I have to do a little um, 
thing for that. Uh, should I do this next time or now? I'm kind of uh, getting too distracted. Uh, we'll put that out there. We'll build a little... This is how you do it. Uh, you just do... We'll do three wide. You put a pitcher pump there and a hydro sensor that just closes the valve if it gets too full. And then dupes can steal that and do that. There you go. Do that quickly. So, yep. We should have some fullerene and then some super coolant, which of course we'll need for the uh, um, liquid oxygen hydrant if we do need to do that. We'll see. Okay, hopefully we've got two more two more artifacts done. Just quickly double check on that. Okay, we're up to eight, which is good. So those two counted, so that's good. So we're eight out of ten, and then yeah, we're on seven. And Triad's, Triad's heading out for that one. So we'll try and do that next time. We've got to get a couple more artifacts. Uh, we may need to go to the superconductor if we may need to go to the regular plant world, we'll see. And we'll get the landers going again to these uh, inner ones to get some printing pods done. So um, without dragging this out for too long, I think I've already gone a little bit over. Um, thank you very much for watching this episode and the last couple of episodes. I uh, hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.